on a fine summer day. We have got a 25cc butch cutter strummer. What is need some attention. So I'm stripping it down for a good friend of mine um, to get a back up and running. So at the minute, guys, we're gonna lightly sand the spark plug because it needs lightly sanding, but not too much because you don't want it damaging. Then you clean the points on it. Inside of that, as you could see. You don't want to sand it too much because you want the spark at the same correct way because if you scratch it too much it will spark all over and you don't want that to happen look at that guys Better than what it was before. So, we'll bring you back in a minute. Spark plugs in, guys. Now, we're gonna clean the side of the filter on the 25cc bush cutter strummer. Just need a light, you rubbing. You don't need much attention on the sponge, really. Um, there we go. Nice and clean. Nice and clean, guys. Because you don't want any bits of stuff going into your carburetor. So turn this around. See, we've still got some dirt in here. So we'll clean that out there now. Because we don't want any kinds of bits of little bits in the carburetor. Because that's one that will stop. That's a nice job doing. Now, I'll put the filter back on. I'll bring you back. Now we've got the outer case in here, guys. Right, it's just a heat shield, really. Just need to rub them down. Big cobwebs here and there. Now it's special about it. Four screws or goes in the paper. Four screws.
Go on. Bring it right back. So up there now, we'll clean the heat shield. We'll clean the spark plug inside and out. We've cleaned it up. The filter on the carburetor. Now we're going to clean the petrol tank. There's not many here. Uh, anyone will know this, but a bit of advice: when the garden season's over, don't leave any petrol or two-stroke in your tank. Always empty it when the garden season's over, even if you stand your petrol strimmer up, because when the frost gets out of it, it turns into ice and it dilutes your petrol and it empties your carb out your float and it's be no good. So my advice when your garden season's over, empty whatever petrol's left in your little tank, ready for the next year so you don't have to fart on with it, strip it down or whatever. Now we're gonna build now we're gonna build the arm on the back on its head there now. Get that secure, get that. It's already been oiled by WD-40. Always every year, always service your strimmer. Take the bits, use WD-40. Always believe in it and it always works. So in a minute guys, I'm gonna let that penetrate through of the shaft coming down. Let that lubricate up. And we'll see where we'll go from that. We'll bring you back. Just what I thought guys, when you, because this, this drum has been standing over about two or three years, and when you leave two stroke and petrol in the tank over the, the winter period, this is what happens. It's like jelly, it turns into slime, and that's what you don't want. So now, it's going to get cleaned up, and fresh petrol and fresh two stroke oil in, and a dab of Red X. And also, the pull cord wasn't working properly because it was just when you pull it out, it was just left out now. I'm getting that all lubed up, oiled up. So that's up and running as well. So let's get this petrol in, mix it in with a two stroke and put a bit Red X in and mix it. Right guys, this is a red, red X. This is a good pure stuff. Only two cup bowls in the petrol tank itself. One cup bowl. Two couples. Every year, always put two couples that in. So now we're gonna put some petrol in. Clotting on with petrol, anybody always make sure it's safe. Now we'll put the two stroke in. Same again guys, two couples. buy at any petrol station going or your local hardware store anywhere where it's near you that's that in we'll put that on the side for safety so 
screw we loop back on. Give it a good old shake. Spin. Yeah. 